completely shifted my attitude towards Islam. Before, I just thought this is a false religion. Now I'm like, oh no, this is a tool of Satan. This is a tool of Satan and the people who are following it are unknowingly soldiers of the devil mm. of the highest degree. So if you don't already know who Young Don is, he is a self-proclaimed God and he's also an Islamophobe who pretends to be a devout Christian man for the sake of his own monetary gain, also known as a charlatan. And just to clarify, I am not even Muslim. But this man scams his own fans, he lies on video on numerous occasions, and I have the receipts. I have the receipts. He cannot count. A thousand dollars has four zeros, not three. <laughs> y'all can't count either? Y'all need a dictionary and y'all can't count? But he happens to have children. Like, if I could have gone away with murder, there, I would have had, I would have multiple bodies. He constantly goes out of his way to insult a religion that is practiced by about one fourth of the world's total population. Difference between the true religion, Christianity, and Islam, which is a devil. Then later goes on to play the victim card when he gets called out for his disgusting actions. So it has been brought to my attention that the three Muslims, in an attempt to attack my character and discredit my name, have recently lied accusing me of scamming one of my supporters. This is 100% false. I see it now as like, oh, God made a religion, it's Christianity. The devil made a religion, it's called Islam. Mm. And I'm not gonna let him get away with it. So today I'm gonna be exposing young Don, the sauce God, for the fraud and the liar that he really is. I promise if someone donates a hundred dollars, I'll go to the three Muslims right now. I promise. I promise. Okay, first things first, he says, if someone donates a hundred dollars, I'll go to the three Muslims right now. Notice how there was absolutely zero sarcasm implied there. And if there was sarcasm being implied, he would say an absurd number, such as like 50,000, a ten thousand dollars hundred thousand but the fact of the matter is he's a popular streamer and popular streamers get a hundred dollar donations or more very often so that's not something that's out of the realm of possibility so <laughs> keep in mind there was no sarcasm implied and by the way just look at his face that just looks like the face of someone who is evil Ash, no! Bro, come on. I'm trying to... Sebastian Charles, I saw the $100. You won't? That's a fact I won't. That's a fact. Because I said $1,000. You need... That's $900 more you need. I said $1,000. I said $1,000. Stop the cap. <laughs> I said it. Okay, <laughs> before I throw up, I, and I cannot believe he's being serious here, but this is the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. You cannot, on video, knowing for a fact you are being recorded, right? Like he turned the camera on, sober, lie about a number, a factual statement. He says 900 more you need after 30 seconds ago on the same stream saying $100. <laughs> and then he starts. <laughs> he starts repeating himself like an idiot. And that does nothing but reinforce the fact that you lied to your own followers on video and literally scammed someone out of $100 for no reason. Y'all can't count either? Y'all need a dictionary and y'all can't count? A thousand dollars has four zeros, not three. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> 
So I don't know why he keeps repeating this. A thousand has four zeros, not three. It's like this guy is trying to be unlikable. And he's trying to get the most amount of people to dislike him in the least amount of time. And that's not even to mention the fact that he's just not very competent with numbers. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So not only is this man a moron, but he's also a straight up liar who then goes on to insult his fans. And by the way, I have absolutely no idea why he's bringing up a dictionary. It's crazy. Y'all can't count either? Y'all need a dictionary and y'all can't count? Oh, hell no. <laughs> nah, bro, that's not lying. What y'all call it in Islam? That ain't lying. That's <laughs> what y'all call it? Uh, uh, lying in Islam. <laughs> Ta Takia? That was some Takia. <laughs> All right, so he goes on to mock the language of Arabic, and he says Takiya like an absolute idiot. And then, not to mention, he went on his phone to look up the false information. He's not right about that. It's not what Takiya means. When he has two ginormous, expensive PCs right next to him, <laughs> and he's using his phone. For what? Hey, I'm going to make sure I put that $100 in my church offering this week. I'm going to... I'm 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 gonna take that hundred dollars and I'm gonna write from Islam and drop it in the church offering this Sunday. Y'all did that. Perfect. Dummies. Okay, so this is where my head was about to explode. You cannot get any more disrespectful than what he just did. So just to recap, he says if someone donates a hundred dollars, I'll go to the three Muslims. And by the way, the context of that is going to go have a conversation with them. That's not a very difficult thing to do. Why are you running? Why are you running? Unless you're an Islamophobe, like I've already shown you. So it completely changed the attitude and energy I would have going forward to any time I'm discussing. I would look at them as like, oh no, you are you're possessed by a demon. I, there's no. Now I'm not going I'm still going to try and portray the Christian values, right? Mm -hmm. Mercy, forgiveness, love. Um he then lies on video and says he said $1000, then he says I'm going to put that $100 towards my church and write from Islam on it. So this is literally indefensible actions here in every stretch of the imaginations. So this is the equivalent of just spitting on someone's face. Except this man just spit in the face of an entire religion on video. And it gets worse, by the way. Possible that someone who has committed murder to be find God, be saved. I do believe that's possible. Yes. We don't go to hell for our sin, for being sinners. We're all sinners. And God says in the Bible that if you've broken the least of my laws, it is as if you've broken them all. So. In God's eyes, if you've ever lied, like I just did to these Muslims, I'm going to have to pray for forgiveness. You ain't no different than a murderer, you know, a fornicator, all of that. God will forgive me. I know what it feels like to have no grace or kindness or mercy in my heart. <laughs> Look at his face. He's playing this evil music, unironically. And he thinks he's sending some sort of a message here. And by the way, he just said, murderers go to heaven. In, in what world could someone who takes the life of someone else go to heaven? And he also compares himself in this clip to a murderer for lying and also admits that he just lied. You tell me you've never been so angry that like if you didn't have the restraint of knowing that the, there are consequences to your actions, you would have killed somebody? The only time I think of that is if somebody like hurt my mom or hurt my sister or something like that. Like, oh, like well, y'all are y'all are better men than me though. Like, like, you know, I said, I promise. <sighs> but this time I pinky promise. If you donate a hundred dollars more, if you donate one more hundred dollars, I'll go. I prank you, promise. I, I promise. You know what they say? You know, someone, you don't want to get in a fight with a desperate man because he ain't got nothing to lose. No honor, no integrity, no principles. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay, so the same guy who has stated on video that if there were no consequences for murder, he would have, quote-unquote, multiple bodies, <laughs> is saying that other people, other human beings, have no honor, no integrity, no morals. Okay, the same one who's been studying the Bible for two months and has people pay him $20 a month for Bible study. Okay. And I know if one of these Muslims came and caught me and me and set me up, not a single one of you would speak out against them. And I said, listen, bitch. You go really? So out of the 2 billion Muslims on this planet, if you, if someone came and offed you, not one would condemn murder? The same people who pray to God five times a day, not one of them would condemn murder. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Okay. In the comment section under anonymous profile and be like, had it coming. I don't got no love for y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this right now. Ah, oh, it wasn't even a Muslim. Bro, that was out there for the Muslims. Sebastian, you fell for the trap card. That wasn't for you. Come on, man. Thanks for the 200, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. You just scammed your own fan thinking that it was a Muslim, which would have made it okay. If it was a Muslim, that's fine. But if it's your fan, that's fine too. That 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 prevents you from having morals or integrity. Okay. All right. Let's go watch his response. Watch him play the victim card like a little